Have you ever seen a swarm of honeybees? Many folks believe that the queen's leading all this, with the bees following her wherever she goes and gathering around her wherever she lands. And like a lot of other things that have to do with honeybees, that isn't always the case. So where is the queen in a swarm? Well, let's take a look at some of my videos of catching and hiving swarms. When swarms like this are all settled in, we can be pretty sure the queen's in there and there's scout bees out looking for a location of a new home. And since they don't have anything to defend at this time, they're usually pretty calm. Now, we can work slowly and carefully around them. We can put the swarm in a box of some sort to get them home. And when we get the bees home, we can put them in a hive. Now, no two swarms are exactly alike, and same way with beekeepers. Some folks put them in the box directly, but I like putting them out on a sheet in front of the hive. That way I can kind of watch them go in on their own. This time I was lucky enough to catch a look at the queen inside. This is her about five minutes after I'd put them on the sheet. But when did she go in? I thought I might see her if I looked back through the video again. I had to slow things down a little bit, but I spotted the queen right here in the swarm about 30 seconds after they'd been put on the sheet. About a minute later, she's flying around the entrance for a few seconds. And then back across the scene about 10 seconds later. The bees are still marching in, even though the queen's still outside flying after two and a half minutes. And I arrived at this bee yard just as this swarm was gathering on the ground. I put down an empty newt box, and I spotted the queen going in with the bees, but that was three and a half minutes after I got there and put the box down. I put her in an old queen cage to keep her in the hive until the rest of the bees had gone in. Now you might think these bees are fanning the queen's pheromone along with the homing pheromone from their nasinov glands, but they were already fanning long before I put her inside. This queen sure didn't lead the swarm either. I had managed to catch the queen as these bees were swarming away and put her in a cage inside the hive. Most of them still swarmed off a couple blocks and only came back about 10 minutes later when they realized their queen wasn't with them. When I was taking this video, I was doing what I could to get this swarm not to go in a hole in the side of this house, and I poked the camera around the corner and just happened to catch this queen still walking around outside over 10 minutes later. Now here's a swarm being shaken from a tree. And beekeepers usually figure if we can get the queen inside the box on the first shake, the rest of the bees will gather in there with her. But that's not the way it looks when I go back over the video. They started fanning their Nasanov homing scent right away. But yet, here's the queen still walking around on the outside of the box five and a half minutes later. And then again at about six and a half minutes later. And the whole time the bees kept going in and fanning where the queen was in the box or not. Now after most of them get in, I'd take this swarm home and dump them out like the first one you saw. When I go back over a bee's eye view of them going in, I can spot the queen in the upper right hand corner walking around and then going into the hive in about 30 seconds after I dumped them. And three minutes later, I can see her on the inside wall of the hive. So she's in the hive, everything's good, everybody's settled in, right? Yeah, well, here she is back outside the hive again about six minutes later. So where is the queen in a swarm? Well, who knows? It appears she could be anywhere, not leading it or playing a major role, but involved in it somewhere, and they will notice if she's not there after a while. As I look back over this video, I can see this queen's right here, at least this time, at least for the time being. Was she the first one to land? Did she just get there? Could she fly off again? Well, I'd say your guess is about as good as mine. 